Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the panels from your mini split condenser for performing basic maintenance and troubleshooting. This is going to be the first video and playlist geared towards homeowners for working on mini splits. Make sure to go check it out. All you really need for this is a screwdriver. However, I like to use the drill driver, it's a lot faster. We're going to start right over here at the outdoor disconnect box. We want to remove power before we start. So right down here, I keep mine closed with a wire. I suppose you might find some where this might be locked, but it's just to prevent anyone from easily opening up and disconnecting power from your mini split. And even more often than using this, I like to just use the circuit breaker inside the house. So right here, you see this handle on the connector and the words at the top or in the orientation says on, so that's power on. So you pull that out, you can put this aside or you can flip it upside down and you'll see that says off when it's in that orientation. So you can have it off and put it back in if you like. So now with power off, it's safe to start taking some panels off. I'm gonna start with this cover on the electrical panel. The reason I take this one off first is because next we're gonna take off the top cover and there's a hidden screw underneath this panel. Next is the top cover, and you'll see that there's that one hidden screw right there. Take that screw out. Move over to the other side, we have two more screws on the top cover. So now you can remove this top cover, and it might be a little bit tight, but it will come off. Now really the only other panel that you need to take off in order to access everything that you need to, it's gonna be this front panel. You'll find there's gonna be screws across the top. Find on mine, there's one screw at the bottom. We'll take all the screws out. Looks like there's one uh, stripped screw here. Actually, it's the plastic on the cover behind here that was stripped so the screw was loose there. Here's that one screw down at the bottom. With that top panel off we'll find there's actually one more screw right here in the corner. Now if we look a little closer how this front panel is connected See this tab right here, it's hooked in, so you're gonna need to pull up in order to take the panel off. So I'll pull up, it's loose on the other side there. And on the right side, carefully take that out, because you'll see that this lip might be wrapped around the fan. So just like that, you have access to everything that you might need for performing basic maintenance and troubleshooting. Note on mine, you see the compressor right here. This would normally be insulated and wrapped up. I took all that out because there was a mouse nest in here. They're starting to cause some damage in chewing wires. I'll go ahead and put everything back together now. You'll see how this latches in on the sides. Again, be careful getting this around the fan. Put all the screws back in.
when putting these screws across the top here, again, make sure that these panels are lifted up in position for the screws to catch in. Get the top cover back on. Have the one screw on the side here. Have the two screws on this side. And finally this cover. Get that bottom screw in first. Two screws at the top. And last thing, you can go ahead, turn power back on.